let me think when it comes to like brain in a vat cases i'm trying to like probably problematize this if my peers think that we ought to be infallibilists instead of fallibilists and they think uh you know maybe we just simply can't know that we're uh that we're brains and, whether we're brains and vats is that the- right right um should should that move me at all should in that case should i be they're my peers man they they, they don't know they think maybe and they think maybe i need you to back up the weight yeah. what's the infallible what do you mean by the infallibilist versus fallibilist yeah i thought that like fallibilism gets you out of this where it's like you look i can fallibly know that i'm not a brain in a vat right like yeah i could be wrong i could be a brain in a vat so i can't like infallibly know that i'm not a brain in a vat but i can fallibly know that i am not one uh this is very complicated for a last minute question <laughs> Sorry. I think, well, yeah we don't have to if you don't want i mean to. and i'm i'm on record for liking a certain infallibilist picture about knowledge Ooh, okay. because I, I, I have these other sympathies and also have argued for it on different grounds. So let me just put it like this. Um, I don't think the right way to think about infallibilism about knowledge mm-hmm. is to mean that it tracks with how, how willing you are to entertain the possibility that you're wrong. Okay. So there's a different way to, I mean, that's, that's the kind of standard way to be like, if I doubt it, or I think it's, I make the judgment that I might be wrong about this, then that shows me that I don't, I couldn't know it, at least in the infallible sense. Yeah. I think that's not, I don't think that's the way to come at it. Okay. Once you change that way of thinking about it, there opens up room for being an, an infallible in the sense that if you do know, it's not epistemically possible for you that you're wrong, okay. but you might make the wrong judgment about it being epistemically possible because you're, you're doing imaginative stuff. You're like, yeah. well, I can't. You know, I can't rule out that I'm dreaming, or I can't rule out that I'm a brain in the vat. You're doing you're doing this sort of move with the machinery of certain versions of certain views in epistemology. But I don't think doing that is needed in order to know. Okay. I mean, part of this is exposing I'm more of an externalist than an internalist. Yeah. Some of this. So so but let me go to the brain in the vat case. I mean, I tend to think, along with um in a way, what what Austin JL Austin sometimes says about the dreaming case um, and some others after him that like you basically, if you're not dreaming or if you're not a brain in a vat, you can know that. Hmm. That doesn't mean you have any amazing grounds for distinguishing. Yeah. Yeah. So it it just means, I mean, maybe you do have that, but you feel like you can't, a lot of that's going to depend on how, how vividly you dream and things like that. So that's, (laughs) yeah. Yeah, local matter depending on each person, um, <clears throat> but I think we shouldn't say. I'm less inclined to do what lots of internalists will do, which is like if they're indistinguishable, then that tells us what, what we're justified in believing, or, or that tells us something about whether we could know. I, I don't think that's the right way to come at it. I th- mm. In a way, it's like when you know that you're not a brain in a vat, it's because you're in the good case that you're not a brain in a vat. Right. That, that's so tough, man, because like, <laughs> well, I, I and, always, and so here, here, let yeah, me just finish please, that thought. Finish, so yeah. we, we are, I'll just go ahead and say it. We are not brains and bats, right? Maybe. So one of it turns on the fact that we are not that. The grounds we have are sufficient for knowing in those cases, even though, of course, if it were a nearby possibility, and so modally speaking, if it's a nearby possibility that we, we could be invaded right now because there was a guy who was about to invade us or something the other day. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> or whatever. Now, you, maybe it's, maybe we're, maybe I sh- we wouldn't know, even though it's true. Yeah. But I think the, the point is like, you can't just start with, this is my take on, you can't just start with the way it seems from within your head and have that be the whole story about what you're justified in believing or whether you could know. It also depends quite a bit on the external situation. Yeah. So, but the, so distinguishability from within one's, you know, sort of from from the skin in or something, or from from your phenomenal field or something, is not the mark for me. Sure. Whether whether you're justified or whether you're believing. So, I think you can know that you're not in lots of cases, not always, right? But you can know that you're not dreaming. You can know that you're not a brain in a vat when you have good enough grounds and you. And it's, let's say it's safe or whatever, modally yeah. safe, and it's tr- then it's true. So how, how do we know if it's modally safe or not? Because um, you we know, don't so need to know that it's modally safe. That's the key. So, so we just are, we are in a good case. 
being in the good case plus it being you know sort of sufficiently enough in the good case that's the modal like it's not a nearby possibility for us that i not be in that good case why is it not a nearby possibility well i'm just i mean i'm just helping myself to the assumption that there's not someone going around invading <laughs> okay if there I'm, was though would that mess things up it could like a dr kevorkian esque person who's going around stealing people's brains it could. It, then it would depend a little bit more on how close that guy has gotten to me in the actual physical world here. Oh, okay. Well, so in a very similar case, some people say it's the same thing, but simulation hypothesis where we're not brains and vats, but we're digitally conscious beings, like sims, simulated you know things. Yeah. As we get closer to making, you know, the <clears throat> metaverse or you know whatever, whoever wins out, does that mess with the with the modality there? Like, does that mess with our moral concerns? That like, okay, so in fifteen years from now, Zuckerberg's got a super realistic simulation, metaverse, whatever. Mm -hmm. Does that make it more possible or more plausible that we're not in the good case? Um, is it the kind of scenario where we we can enter the metaverse and and exit and then after a while we do it a bunch of times and we can't tell the difference yeah that's a good i should have like it's either that so there's two there's two one is that like yeah you entered in and uh you you forgot that you ever did or or you you know i guess you'd have to say something else like you took a pill that for, made you forget um or or like vanilla sky with tom cruise or something if you've seen that movie yeah a long time ago he's 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 in the dream Right, but he willfully entered into it, uh, waiting out his time. He's like in a cryo cryo chamber, but they right. he was having a, a lucid dream, or I mean, or, yeah. or the other one is that you are a digitally conscious being, right? That you you just are. There's nothing over and above your well, right. digital so self. If I'm already a digitally conscious being, or we're mm -hmm. already brains and vats, then my view of the case is that we can't know that we're not because that's false. You're right. So that's why the facts do some work. Right? It's just that you can't move from that straight over to the idea that like, well, I, it sure looks like it would look the same from within. Yeah. <laughs> we're a brain in a vat, or if I were in the metaverse, or if I were, you know. In the a facts matter. Yeah, the, the case actually the matters. The facts do work, including how modally close they are. Now, that's why it it's makes it a little harder for like, look if, the, if they're developed very right now. We are all in the real world, but there's going to be very soon a version where we can enter a simulation and we wouldn't be able to tell the difference. Well, if it's, I mean, I guess the, my answer would probably turn on like how close I came to deciding to enter it in the first place. Like well, that's going to be related to how modally. Yeah. Well, well you could, you could, you could think of someone who, you know, Zuckerberg comes around knocking people out and putting them in there and erasing the, mem the, the fact that they, got knocked out and put in there, right? So like there's a body a body snatcher, Zuck, who steals people and puts them in there. If you had that knowledge, that would make things more mortally close for you, right? Because you're like, I wouldn't remember even if Well it, it doesn't matter whether I know about it. What matters is how Okay. I mean this is the point. In, like you're not an internalist, yeah. Right. Yeah. No. Right. And in fact I'm such I'm such not an internalist that I will say the brain of that and I have different evidence. The dreaming version or, or the sort of person in the simulation and I have just different evidence. So okay. that's wild for most internalists. But I think that's the way, that's a way to make good on the, like, we don't, again, the point though is like, you have to, you have to allow, we don't, we don't have great access exactly to the nature of our evidence. Okay. That's for, internalists don't like any of these moves. <laughs> I know they're all freaking out. <laughs> at home. They want a good grip on what their evidence is. They want to have per pretty good access, perfect access to it. They want to have the, the norms by which we're using that evidence to be operationalizable, where you, you know that you're following the rules or whatever. I'm just not, <laughs> I'm not yeah. in that universe. But like the, so to so someone that might be like, that's a stupid view or set of views. But one of the payoffs is I get to say, and it's not like this is driving it, of course, but one of the payoffs is that like, I get to say, I can know I'm not a brain of that without having some amazingly, you know, dismissive evidence that would help me discern that I'm not a brain of that. It's just, I've got, in the, even on the Williamson e equals K view, it's like, I've got as part of my evidence that I'm not a brain of that. Yeah. And so um, do you, I would say. So, but it's like, 
even in that case where I got it as part of my evidence, here's what's tricky. If it becomes modally safe or, or unsafe, like there's a nearby possibility, even in the physical world that I go and batted. Now it's trickier to solve given the model, but I think we should say, if it's a nearby possibility that I, be, you know, I, I would have been invited or I would have been in a simulation, even though I'm not, that doesn't throw off the truth, but it does throw off how possible or how nearby it was Yeah, that I could, couldn't now or soon be. So then, so then I, I have to say, it's less clear to me that I could know if that's what's going on. And that's okay. the possibility of the metaverse looming makes it a little less, I mean, it doesn't change what I know that I know it now. Right. But either, or if it's like a Black Mirror thing where people people coming and going and enjoying a different set life. Yeah. Um, if they were making judgments about, oh, this is the real world and this is the 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 virtual world, mm, those judgments are going to be not very stable or not very safe. Well, so what we just discovered is that we need to have uh, externalist rally against Zuckerberg and say, look, you're gonna you're you're making things very modally unsafe for us. You need to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> this is not good. Um, so just real quick, uh, last follow up here. Do you yeah. think that, do you think that, um, you have different evidence than the brain in a vat or the simulated sim because of like content externalism that you've interacted with, with real things and they've interacted with, with digital or simulated things? Is that, is that what makes the evidence different? That's part of it. Okay. Um, or at least there, that's available to say. Okay. Um, I just, I mean, it's not in a way that if I go that route only, then it throws off, I think some of the other things I would want to say, Okay. rather just say, um, insofar as the brain and that sort of twin or whatever, yeah, have, would have what looks like similar contents in its belief to what mine have, I have to say the content just is different because mine are about the actual Right. world and it's or not yeah um so the content externalism will do that but i think you also just can run it without or without needing too much of that okay i've got a lot of knowledge of various kinds that it doesn't have yeah and because i'm i like e equals k we just have very different evidence yeah then it's unsurprising that i could know and it couldn't or that i could be justified in believing or something like that and it couldn't um because we just have very different evidence. If if your if your simulated <clears throat> twin, so that he's not a brain in a vat simulated twin, whether that occasions the case or not, um, simulated Matt thinks that he's on a podcast with Parker. Uh, he has evidence for that. Is Where that, Parker's a real person? No, me uh, simulated Parker as well. In 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 the simulator world, he doesn't he doesn't think it's simulated Parker. He thinks just what you think right now. Presumably, you're you're, you're not thinking this is not a simulated Parker. This is a real Parker, right? That's not like part of what's going on in your head. Probably maybe it is now. Cause I brought that up, <laughs> but, but right. So like he has the same beliefs as you, but you, your evidence is, is knowledge is his evidence knowledge, but like simulated knowledge now, you know, knowledge star. I mean, so wait, um, I'm sure I'm understanding the case, right? So the twin of mine that's in a simulation believes of himself, that he's not in a simulation and believes that he's on a podcast with someone Parker, who's not in the simulation, all that probably, he probably not the simulation part. He probably just thinks that he's talking to Parker on a podcast. Right. Cause that usually we don't go around thinking like, well, I'm, in the I'm simulation, that. that's true. So, so okay. the, that's, the, that's what I'm trying to get at. Whether, whether he can have true beliefs in, in the simulation. Oh yeah. You, I mean, I mean, notice the content externalist, it will make it the case we just have different contents, but then that the brain in Nevada, the simulated version, has lots of true beliefs. Okay, and maybe, a lot of, yeah. maybe a lot of knowledge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. But the, but then it gets thrown off because we thought these were supposed to be on a par or something. But then if we change that content now, they're just they're about they're believing different stuff about different. Gotcha. There's something that's helpful. Okay, that's really good, man. This is this is fun. See, this is this is good. This is like <laughs> I'm gonna clip this. This is a lot this of fun. Is, 